In this tutorial, we'll go over how to use chart templates when creating a new chart in Atlassian Analytics. Chart templates are out-of-the-box charts that contain predefined queries and transformation steps, helping us quickly get the answers we need. For this video, we'll go over the process of creating and customizing chart templates. We'll begin adding a new chart by navigating to the sidebar menu of our dashboard and selecting Chart. It's important to note that chart templates are only available for Atlassian Daily connections that include all data in the scope of the connection. Atlassian Daily connections that include limited data will not be able to be used to create chart templates. In this pop-up, we're given a wide selection of chart templates for various products for which we can filter by. For example, if we were to want Ops Genie specific chart templates, we'll change the selection from all products to Ops Genie. For this video, we'll go over configuring the Project Progress Chart Template for Jira products. After selecting the template, we can begin configuring the chart. From the Chart Configuration page, we'll want to choose the Atlassian Data Lake connection that should be queried, as well as the dashboard that we want our chart located in. Most templates can come with controls. In the Filter Using Recommended Controls section, you can choose to connect an existing control on the selected dashboard, create a new control of a recommended type, or not filter your chart at all. For this example, we'll keep Create New Control as all three options, as this will create three new controls for us to dynamically filter our chart. We can now click Create Chart and place our chart and controls wherever we like. Let's first take a look at what we get out of the box with this template. With the chart itself, we can take a look at the number of issues by issue status. Additionally, we are given drop-down controls that allow us to dynamically filter our chart to retrieve our desired data. For example, we can use a Jira product drop-down to limit issues to those that belong to Jira software. Or, we could use a calendar control to show only issues between two dates. We can further customize the template to align with our business needs by adding other data. To start off, we'll head into the Chart Editor by clicking on the Chart's More Actions menu and selecting Edit Chart. For this example, we want to adjust this chart to show only issues with a high priority. We'll start by editing the query, adding a new filter, choosing Priority from the Issue table, setting it to equals, and finally, typing in high. We can now click Run Query and see that our chart has updated to exclusively show issues with high priority. We can now save our chart to the dashboard.